Um, yeah, you you have proven you've had a childhood. I had a childhood. And I recently played a bit of Generation 1, because that's the one I never actually got to play. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I played it because uh, my uh, sister's boyfriend had um, the actual Game Boy for it, so... Uh, I played... I can't remember. I think I played Red when I was young, but I can't remember playing it that well. But I got Pokemon Yellow when it came out, because Pikachu was pretty awesome. Pikachu is awesome. He's the frickin' mascot for the whole thing. Yeah, I liked Pikachu. Uh, I kind of less like Pikachu now, just because... I don't know. I'm Pikachu's less... not my favorite, but you know, no. I can't help but like him. I like his cuteness. I don't like that they've made him slimmer as the years have gone by. Have they? I haven't really noticed. Yeah, if you look at, um, like, in-game sprites of him as he's gone through the generations, and in the anime, too, he's just gotten thinner and thinner, like, he's getting a more toned body. Like, before, in, like, his sprite in Gen 2, I think is the best, because he looks like, like a little brown ball of yellow cuteness. Yeah. But, but by Gen 5, he's got, he's got like a thinner, more, like, I don't know, taller, slim body? I was like, he looks less cute now. Yeah. Well, by anime standards, I guess it's because Brock's not cooking for him anymore. So, so Brock was fattening him up, I see. That was the, that was the mystery. But yeah, he like as it's gone by, he's just looked less and less cute. I'm like, you had a thing going. Pikachu was adorable. Oh shit, I just got locked into using Shuckle. Oh crap. Oh no, this this is a very bad situation because um He's he uh had a fortress? Or no, he had Aridos, he used spider web, so I can't switch out. Oh crap. He used double team, so his eva evasion is extremely high. And Shuckle's attack already does nothing. He switched to Fortress, who has amazingly high defense. So, uh, oh no. This, this could be a... How the tables have turned. Mm, I'm almost partial to speed this one up, because it's going to take a long time otherwise. <laughs> Especially okay, if Shuckle misses with the next hit. Oh I know, fuck, he's got he's got protect, I'm speeding this up. It's not even it's not even funny. This is going to be sped up. For everyone entertainment and sanity. Yeah, for for the sake of humanity, I'm not going to uh I'm not going to have anyone injure that. That would be so I hate enduring that just as it is. Like, when you're just playing it, and you yeah. can't fast forward it oh, yourself. This is the miracle of emulators. Uh, can I switch out yet? I don't think I can. Reminds me of when I was trying to catch Ho-Ho. Really? Yeah. I had so much trouble trying to catch him, it was not even funny. Oh, yeah, I hate... I hate the legendary Pokemon that run away. Oh, God! The, the um, Raikou... And Entei. Entei and Suicune. Good thing. Well, Su well, Suicune you can catch eventually. Yeah, Suicune in Gen 3, he doesn't run away. Yeah. But and those other two, fuckers. Assholes, every time. I in Soul Silver, there's Latios and Latios. Yeah. In Gen 4, they have. Cresselia runs around, and then, like, the three Lake Spirits or whatever, they run around too, I think. No, yeah. no, they don't. Do they? I don't. They're all. They're at the lakes. There's another Pokemon in the game. I think runs around. That's not Cresselia. Any Pokemon that runs around is a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Especially hate it. Especially hate it when they're like in their Pokedex entries. Like they're fierce Pokemon. It's like no, first sight of conflict, they run. <laughs> there was actually this comment. 
this this comic I saw of Entei, someone was playing, and it said, You put Entei to sleep. She's like, Yes, I can catch you now. And it says he's running away, and he's running away, and he's like drooling because he's still asleep. Oh, oh yeah, there's another, there's another one like that. It's, um, it's one of them, and they're, they're using mean look, and then they just run away. <laughs> yeah, that was um, Raikou, I think. <laughs> Raikou used mean look. Okay, next turn, runs away. What? And then they're just standing there like, what just happened? I was like, did... did... What? Is, what? <laughs> I don't even know. The funny thing is, that happened to me. <gasps> really? Yeah, that actually happened to me. I didn't even know... Can Raikou, does Raikou actually know mean look? I'm not sure if it was Raikou or one of the others, but one of them looked at me with a mean look and went, Ha! I'm gonna look at you! Now you can't move! Bye! I was like, what the fuck? Confuses the hell out of me. Like, if you were gonna run away, why bother? You, you, you could've, you know, you just could've stood there. <laughs> oh, I hate those things. And what sucks is, it wasn't until very recently I decided not to use my Master Ball on Pokemon that don't run away. Yeah. But, yeah, that was that was a little too late. It wasn't until, like, Gen 4 I realized that, you know, Pokemon run away, you should probably use the ball that instantly catches them instead of, you know, Pokemon that's gonna fight you there. I don't remember what I used my Master Ball on in Soul Silver, but I do know that Mewtwo was just easy as fuck to catch. <laughs> you can catch Mewtwo in Soul Silver? Yeah, you can. I did. He's in the first game. Oh, wow. I, don't, I haven't done a lot of, uh, I did, like, most of the trainer, or the gym badges, and then I just kind of, I got super frustrated at the, like, fight where you can team up with your partner to be Lance and Claire. Oh, yeah. I got there, and then I just, like, rage quit, because your partner's a fuck-ass, and he doesn't know how to fight. <laughs> yep. Soul Silver has a really big post-game where you can go through Kanto. Yeah. I did all that part. And I went and caught Mewtwo, and it only took me one Pokeball. I always had the fortunate luck of catching, like, catching, uh, legendaries in Ultra Balls. Mm. Or not Ultra Balls, but actual just regular Pokeballs. Because I, I'm like, I could get 30 Ultra Balls, or I could get 99 Pokeballs. I want to go with the 99, because that's more. <laughs> Part of my cheapness is why well, I was determined to catch them in Pokeballs because I didn't want to spend money on any of them. It's really funny. I think I actually went through all my Ultra Balls and then I only had Pokeballs left. So I went to catch a ho ho with a Pokeball and it actually stayed in it. And I was like, what the fuck? I, I like it when you get a good sense of satisfaction when you catch anything in a Pokeball. Yeah, you do. You're like, I feel yes. it's, you feel it's <laughs> right. Something just seems so right about it. Something probably like... because of the influence of the anime. <laughs> yeah, probably that. That's usually the the heavy factor. I don't think they use any other kind of Pokeball in that. Ash and Misty use a Lure Ball. Did they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ash caught his Totodile in a Lure Ball, and Misty caught her. Poliwag in a toad in a lure ball, I want to say, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember. I don't. And Brock got an, a heavy ball, like one with lumps on it. Yeah. He got that, but I don't think he ever used it. He got a a lure ball as well, and he used it on Pineco, I think. I think. Hmm. I don't think they use any other alternate Pokeballs other than that. They really just don't like that. They're just like, no, it's Pokeballs. It's always sell. What about Great Balls? No. They don't exist. <laughs> nothing. Nothing for you. Just the Pokeballs. No soup for you. Not even the Master? No. No. Especially not. <laughs> Imagine giving Ash a bunch of Master Balls. Wait. I'm gonna pause right here. <laughs>